Hi, welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, <clears throat> the Target, target Individual uh, Program. So, um, couldn't go to sleep last night, again, insomnia, particularly, like I said, whenever I'm being microwave, uh, uh, being hit with silent sound, uh, spread spectrum, you know, it's very difficult for me to go to sleep. Now, it's funny because two nights in a row, I was able to go to sleep at a decent time. I didn't stay up till three hours in the morning, but because yesterday, you know, with by Pam and stuff like that, by Pam um, with the kids, and I talked about how, you know, I was being microwave, right? When I got in, uh, like I said I was in the kitchen, um, and Alyssa again co-opting her, her, her mind, right? Uh, you know, when she she went into, I was sitting down, and, you know, taking off my shoes. And she came in the kitchen, uh, turned around, you know, with her hand behind her back, both hands behind her back, you know, like in that handcuff type of way. And she walked off. So I knew, you know, and also uh, while Pam was out, you know, um, they're using the sirens whenever certain uh, things are being said from watching the video on YouTube, you know, certain words, even this morning. Not this morning, sorry, this afternoon, because I got up around uh, after 3. Because like, I went to bed, I think, maybe after 10. And I got up around, I got earlier, I got up around 12, got something to eat, and then I got up, went back to sleeping up around 3. Now, it was it's my weekend to see the kids. Um, so I called her, and she was like, um, you know, you don't have to come if you don't want to. You know, she just got, no, she was like, you don't have to come since she, since she just got up, you don't have to come. It's funny because for the past, uh, two weeks or so, uh, it didn't matter what time I got up, right? Um, let's see, the, my last weekend with the kids, the last weekend I had with the kids, that was, that was my turn to see them. I think I got up around, I didn't leave the house until like three o'clock, right? Not a problem. All of a sudden today, you know, oh, you know, you, since you just got up, you don't have to, you know, come, what have you, if you don't want, you know, you don't have to come since you just got up. Like you said. And I'm like, okay, what have you? But I thought about it, I said to myself, you know what? Let me go because I don't want her saying to her friends, "Oh, you know, he's he's good to see the, the kids, and you know, he didn't come over because he slept all day." So, so, you know, again, I've I've had experience, before, you know, what I'm saying so because I know how a lot of these women think, right? Never mind the fact that you know, since I was there yesterday, and you know, most of the days this week because uh, the kids are no longer in summer school, right? No, you know, but and because I know that. So, anyway, so I got up watching the video. As soon as I got up, you know, I checked my phone, what have you. They started with the police sirens in the background. Okay, very uh, low volume of them using the uh, siren, you know, the whole whoop thing that they do. Um, but again, still frequent. Still, when I'm watching videos, I'm clicking on videos because, again, um, they had, uh, you know, um, You know, they just, they, you know, in terms of our, my privacy, in terms of um, going online, uh, going th through my phone, what have you. Because, again, like I said, on my phone, they have uh, installed the um, Pegasus software. Okay. Also, what they've been doing, and I forgot to even mention this, when I start up my computer, okay, now I have um, this program, this uh, VPN program that I use and I haven't used it in a while because it doesn't make any sense because you know as a matter of fact I need to unsubscribe from it because it doesn't matter if it's VPN or not they still uh, you know, monitor me online because again they have access to my to the Wi-Fi to the home network okay so it doesn't matter if I have a VPN or not also what I've been noticing and usually when my computer starts up the VPN uh, should not start because I turn that off right and how you would do that in Windows, you can go into the um, startup uh, programs through the what's called the task manager. And you go in there and you can disable all of the program that will automatically start up when you turn your computer. So that's turned off. But I've been noticing lately that it, when I start my computer, it's turned on. Now, I didn't turn it on. And also, how do I notice? Because when I'm on YouTube, Okay, so let me give you guys let me give you guys an example. 
Okay, you see in YouTube, where it says YouTube right here? Right there, right here. Usually if you have a VPN, it will show you what country that you're using, right? Because with a, with, a, with, a, with a VPN, you could basically pick a country and then you can use that, that country's internet network. So sometimes I'll, I'll check YouTube and it's, it's in Canada. And I'm like, wait a minute, I didn't turn on the VPN. So why is it in Canada? Why, why YouTube says Canada? Or it will be like another country, right? Or maybe it, it will be an, uh, 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 an Arab, uh, a Muslim country, a country that's predominantly Muslim, right? Or an Arab country. And, and I'm just like, is this how they trying to uh, get around U.S. privacy laws by hacking into my home network and my computer from another country, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? To get around U.S. privacy laws, right? You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you, 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 uh, you know, you gotta figure that's what it is, okay? Um, so I turned off um, the VPN when I see that happen. I go, I turn off the VPN, and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you know I don't. Right now it's off, and they're still, you know, so they don't care about U.S. privacy laws of or the laws of, of of any state or anything like that when it comes to privacy. We all know that. It's it, we know, we know it's a lie that when they talk about privacy, because we have no privacy. Okay, we have no privacy. If we can catch them in the act of violating our privacy then they will and they we've had before right um edward snowden right the revelation that what he took and what he revealed right who else um uh william benny and others that have come full and i forgot the the, the, the other guy that um you know expose the US um, security agencies and what it is that they do violating the, the, the rights of people in America in terms of, of privacy right so we so we know this and I keep saying I tell you all the time I said you know the CIA have embedded its agent within major police departments this is why they learn uh, this is how they learn about psychological manipulation, manipulating people. This is how they learn to set people up, and they can so they can get away with it. This is how. This is why, you know, they send uh, police officers overseas to train. Right. This is the police department now. This is not the. This is not the CIA. This is not the military. This is not the FBI. This is not the Department of Justice. This is a a city and state police department. Okay. Who thinks? Well, not even think, but. New York City Police uh, Department has been dubbed the baby CIA, okay? Because, again, having um, uh, having uh, financial accounts where the public cannot uh, get any sort of record on, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Using those types of, you know, having those accounts where again there's no oversight right because it's not it's, it's it's not the city's account it's not the state account it's not the federal government account right this is a separate account that they have where where you have corporations funneling money into those accounts right now also that but corporations giving them uh, 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 access to highly uh, technical uh, technological uh, in terms of technology, right? I mean, we see this this type of relationship. I posted an article with Target and how Target was uh, allowing police departments to use their um, uh, forensic laboratories all, all over the country. So these are the things they have they have, they have been part they are in partnership with corporations, and we have to understand these things. Okay, so. Like I said, the U.S. is a country in which they 
what they say that they are and what they believe is different from who they really are. And I mean, the people that are in power, I mean, those within law enforcement, those within the military, the higher ups, or what is called the shadow government, okay, operating with uh, uh, operating anonymously, operating with 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 financial resources, operating in secrecy, to where they consider themselves, okay the people who are controlling this country all right so i'm not sure if that makes any sense you know what i'm saying so when like i said so when you have police departments who have uh where where uh the u.s uh security agencies embed its agents and teaching its agents okay um certain tactics certain uh brainwashing um psychological uh, tactics and programs, okay, on top of that, but when you have police departments who are able to buy technology, who are able to microchip people, who are able to drug people, who are able to have black sites which nobody knows about, where they can take people, not put them into the system, uh, you know, but to torture them, to drug them, you know, all kind of shit, okay? And people want to think that law enforcement, I said law enforcement is a federal authorized gang. They're like the mafia. Okay? Because the vast majority of those in law enforcement are what it, are what is called dark tried personality types. This is why when you see, go to YouTube, look at any any video, you'll see police officers not upholding their oath, you know, barging into people's home, no warrants, you know, using their own feelings okay to circumvent the law to do what they want to do that's basically what it is okay and because there is really any accountability they keep doing it and getting away with it 